Good evening, and welcome to the Pastor Study in Faith Community Church in Geneva. Tonight I'm going to be speaking out of 2 Corinthians, the first chapter. Sunday, we had a kingdom moment in our church. Services had just finished. We had just finished the prayer. Everyone was standing, and a couple were standing as we started speaking and milling around, and she passed out. And it was a very insightful moment as a pastor that I got to watch our church. And as she passed out and laid on the floor uh, between the pews, it seemed like eternity, seemed like uh, quite a few minutes, and but it was only a few moments in reality. <clears throat> and the church all of a sudden was on pause. All through the sanctuary, people just stopped where they were. And we have a nurse, Mary Reese, who calmly went forward and walked over by the pew, knelt down beside her. The husband was helping her. He was on the ground holding her head. And Mary, being the nurse she is, she uh, checked her heart rate and her breathing and was calmly speaking to the husband. And she was listening to the husband. We were all trying to hear what was being said. One or two people asked, shall we call 911? I had asked as well, and I was waiting for the husband to respond. But he was sharing mostly with Mary, but those of us that could hear, that his wife had this neurological issue that this happened fairly often, and that's why she's not working right now, and uh, that she would come to in just a moment but only she was really out of it. And so as the husband was speaking and, and letting us know that he was calm about this, he was probably more calm than we were, uh, especially Mary. Uh, and Mary was, I, I was very impressed with her because she was very professional. She knelt down, she was checking on the patient or the person uh, she was listening to the husband, and, and she was making a decision what should happen while the husband was explaining. And during an emergency like this, this is the time to pause and to time to collect ourselves and to listen to what the husband was saying. And he wasn't hearing us as much as we should be hearing him, and Mary was. And so... This wasn't a time to all of a sudden start quoting scripture and to call God down and rebuke the devil. And I've seen that sort of thing in churches. Church, I was real proud of you. Everybody was calm and quiet and they showed that they were concerned and people were quietly praying. And as Mary knelt down and was speaking, I was pleased to watch her. I was pleased to watch the church. I was pleased that this was a kingdom moment. This was the body of Christ, fellow believers in the Lord, brothers and sisters in the Lord, waiting to see what was happening. Now in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, the God of all comfort, who comforts us, in all of our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them who are in trouble by the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted from God. And so that was our church. We were all right there in God, God's family, comforting each other, but also receiving comfort from God at the same time. And I was just pleased to watch the church in pause. I was pleased to watch the church showing love and compassion and concern for the wife that was passed out on the ground. And as we quietly prayed and she came to, she was somewhat embarrassed. Of course we would be. The husband was relieved and, and so were we. Uh, and she just said, yes, this sort of thing happens periodically, and she's getting it taken care of. Matter of fact, she had a doctor's appointment the next day. But I was pleased to watch our church. I was thankful that, first of all, that the husband and wife gave us a 
opportunity to have a kingdom moment, the presence of God with his people in a time of uncertainty. I also was thankful for Mary Reese and her professional response and her caring. And I was thankful for the, being the pastor of a church that was humble, loving, and praying body of Christ. I was very pleased about that. And so as we understand that God does care and he does comfort all of us, and then we are, to, we are to minister that caring and comfort to each other. So again, I would like to say love, love, love. Uh, the Lord showed his love Sunday and his caring. And love, love, love for our church as one body, a family of God, all on pause, waiting for God, waiting for the response, and to understand and see the, the love of Christ in our midst. And so here after service when we thought it was all over we had a kingdom moment a moment when god and his righteousness his peace and ultimately his joy was made manifest that's the kingdom of god so i pray the comfort of god in first corinthians or second corinthians first chapter blessed be the lord jesus christ father of mercies and god of all comfort May he comfort you and your family in all situations. And remember the reason he does. Love, love, love. God is love. Blessings.